All right, welcome to CS50's week five data structures uh, assignment speller tutorial. This is an easy tutorial for anyone who has been doing the course. And um, basically you wanna start off with doing these functions in order, load, hash, size, check, and unload. We're gonna start off with load. And I'll show you guys how to do this. So first, let me give you guys a background on what hash tables are. If you draw this out, this is a hash table. So hash table is essentially, so this is the brackets, zero, one, two, or sorry, the buckets, also known as the indexes, also known as N in this program, it's also known as capital N. So these are all nodes, one, two, three, and these are all the table indexes. Table index zero points to the first node. Table index one, also known as B for our own sake, points to nothing, which is null. Okay. When I draw a new node here, remember what they taught us. Draw a new node. The new node should point to this node first before the table index, before the hash table points to that node to avoid loss of data, right? <clears throat> now let's get to back to the program. Now that you understand that. Okay, so load function. It's gonna take in our dictionary um, file, name of a file. And what you wanna do is first of all, you wanna open that file. Okay, once you open that file, run the while loop with a scanf, f scanf which uh, scans each word in the file until the end of the file. Now, while it's doing each word, it's going to create a node and allocate memory to that node. It's going to create a node, like this one, and it needs new memory for that. It needs like, a location in your memory so you can store the data, right? Once it creates that node, you're going to assign the word of that node to the word that we just read from the scanf. Then you're gonna have to run the index. You're gonna have to find out which index that word belongs to in the hash table. And that's to a hash function. So what you're gonna really have to, we're gonna determine, develop that hash function later on. For now, just uh, type in this hash function of the word and to get the value because it outputs a number called the index. Then <clears throat> uh, you're gonna type in the, that the node of the next, the pointer, points to the first node of whatever the index is, right? So you can do that by just typing as ta table, that node next equals table index. What that means is that whatever, so whatever, sorry about the focus, whatever your node, whatever your table index points to, which is the first arrow, your node pointer is gonna point to the same one. Okay. And then for the bottom, once you've pointed to the next, to the first node, then you're gonna set the table index to point to that node. So then this, then you're gonna set this to point to that. And that's done through that equation, right? Okay. Then you wanna close your file to prevent memory errors. <clears throat> and then you wanna to go to, next you wanna work on your hash function. Hash functions are, for background, they're all developed by wizards basically. And um, sometimes even developed by programs. So they're very high advanced, uh, trial and error type uh, functions. But basically you just wanted to, what a hash function is, is you're, gonna, you're just gonna determine a number, which is also known as a bucket of where you're gonna put your word into. So sometimes you're gonna put all, so this one cal calculates a value based on the number of letters in each of the words. Uh, and it just, yeah, that creates a number out of that. That's how this one works. So here's my reference. And I've also simplified that, that reference version for you. So this one actually makes more sense. It's, the other person had this. Now you're gonna get some value. Sometimes it's higher than N. So that's why you wanna do the modulo. This is the same thing that, that the guy in the, in the CS50X uh, video told us. So always type this value percent N and set N to whatever number you want. I set it to 100. N is just the number of buckets. So zero, one, two, three, whatever, right? That's the number of buckets. So once you do that, you're gonna get your, it's gonna return the number and then 
that's gonna be your hash number, which you're gonna get from here, right? It's gonna return your index from also known as hash number, also known as buckets, right? Next up you wanna do is your size, the size of the dictionary. So size of the dictionary, I just basically ran a counter. So whenever you're inputting the, no, the word into the dictionary, you wanna do a counter. So you can do that in many different ways. I just ran the counter in the hash function. So every time it runs a hash, it needs to determine the hash function in the dictionary once you're loading the word then to the counter there and let's return it next up check check is very similar to the hash function so i just copied the same hash function on the top i didn't want to call the hash function out again because of my counter i didn't want to add extra counters because now you're actually comparing the word so once you get that hash number on the new word that you're comparing to your dictionary uh, you're gonna have to need you're gonna need a new variable uh, pointer or variable node the reason that you, so i got a cursor here the reason that you need that is because you're going to be running loops like for example a loop like this one and if you run that on the actual table on the actual hash table you're going to overwrite the hash table data you're going to lose the data right so once you get a cursor then run a while loop on the cursor uh, so first you set the cursor to equal the pointer of the first hash table so if I have a cursor here, like similar to this node, then you're gonna run the, you're gonna make this equal to whatever this uh, table index is equaling. So the first node, for example, and then since that word is now the same, it's pointing to the same address as a dictionary word. You do this function here and compare it to the word that you're, you're reading now from, to the word that you wanna spell check. And if it matches, so this is the function if on this str case comp. If it equals zero, that means it matches. If it matches, return true. If not, go to the next word and do the loop again, check if it matches. So very simple, right? Very, very simple. Last off, you want to release all of your memory data, all of your um, data that you've allocated. So you, what you can do on this one is the very simplest way. You run a loop. And this loop is gonna run from obviously from this way and then it's gonna go down on each bucket that you've already created. How many buckets do you have? You set that as this n value here and equals 100. So now you know that value. So start off with bucket equals n equals zero. And while buckets is less than n, run a loop until the, uh, the actual hash table is, is null. So when the hash of that index, when hash zero equals null, which is nothing, it's gonna go to the next line. What you're gonna do in that, when the, in that loop is you're gonna have a temporary node, actually a temporary variable it's the pointer, point to the first one. So similar to what we did in the check, temporary node point to the first one. And then uh, you're gonna have the table, the actual uh, hash table that was that one's not going to point to this one anymore you're going to point that all the way to this one the next one by pointing to the next right and then you can just free up free up this temporary data which is the only one pointing to this so you just keep doing that keep running the loop so this points to this this point to this blah blah keep keep freeing that um that data in there using a the free temp and then I saw in other people's programs on YouTube that they did this, setting it equal to null, but it's not needed because the loop already is running it until it hits null. So that's actually, this just goes to show you that everyone has different programs and some of them are more efficient than others. And I'm not hating on the other programmer because he helped you, he helped me out as well. But it just goes to show that you must also understand what, to, what you're doing. So I had to clean it up a bit. Then you just add the buckets, go to the next bucket and blah, return true and you're good to go. Please uh, like and subscribe. Actually, I don't really need you to, sub to subscribe, but please like my videos. Much appreciated, and if it helped you out, let's help out everyone else out too in the comments below. Thank you. Take it easy. Music by uh, Yogi Beats. You can search them up. Yogi Beats with a Z at the end. Pretty good beats, I would say.